Hello everyone, it is Pal Ponder on Weather coming to you with another video. This time it's the September summary. I'm pretty excited to bring this to you today. I spent a lot of time on it. Um, if you like weather related content, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to drop your city and state below, I'll personalize a seven day forecast for you in September. So let's get right to it guys. Um, here is an overall summary of how I think September is going to play out. I put together a really nice graphic for you guys of the entire United States, how I think September is going to play out. So let's take it region by region. First, we'll go up to the Northwest and focus in on uh, Washington and Oregon and Idaho, parts of uh, Nevada and California, where that above normal temperatures, unfortunately, I think is going to continue into September, where that Enzo neutral started pattern started August the 8th, that drier pattern is going to filter into California. I think that continues into, into September. And again, a little bit slightly above normal as you filter in further, further into the United States and in into Montana, parts of Wyoming, Idaho, uh, Utah, and parts of Colorado. But there's also, it's been really cold in Canada. And I think September is the time frame in the central part of the United States where I think we're gonna have these pretty good cold shots come down and parts of the Dakotas and especially in the second half of September, I think you do are susceptible to getting some snow showers kind of mixed in with the above normal precipitation that I'm expecting. And as that system pushes down and tries to push down, um, you'll have those cold shots filtering in further down in Nebraska and parts of the Dakotas. So let's swing on to uh, the Texas region now where I think we're gonna be slightly above normal. We were in August by two degrees. I think that continues into September or we're gonna have above normal temperatures in parts of Texas and Kansas, uh, Oklahoma, parts of Mississippi and New Mexico. But if we swing down, down to the southeast region where we're going to have that tropical activity. Um, September 10th is peak hurricane season and it basically we're going to be going to the heart of the hurricane season. Right now Dorian is still in all the headlines and that's going to run up to the northeast and going to be still be playing a factor with this even 10 days from now. Um, anywhere from Brownsville all the way up to the northeast into Maine, you're susceptible of some sort of tropical activity in the month of September where I think it's gonna start getting pr pretty active over the next couple of weeks. Um, so I know in the second half of September in Texas region, you're gonna have to look for specific systems coming up and swinging over the Baja and spreading additional moisture into Texas. That's not as prevalent in September, it's more prevalent in October, but I wanted to kind of uh, give you a, an idea of if that were to play out, that's why it would occur if you had above normal precipitation in the month of September. But there's also a pocket as we swing up to the Northeast, where I think the first half of the Northeast is gonna be colder than normal, but the second half it's gonna warm back up as above normal. But there's also a pocket where I really wanna go visit this time of year <laughs> is parts of uh, Michigan, uh, Wisconsin, and Iowa. I got a friend of mine that just moved to Iowa and Illinois and Indianapolis area, where I think you're gonna have much cooler nights, but definitely pleasant days. I mean, we're talking really nice temperatures. So I'm jealous of you guys. <laughs> so here's kind of an overall summary of the Climate Prediction Center over the next six to 10 days, where they it has that clipper system. I'm gonna have to walk you through September now. Um, what, has a below normal temperatures in parts of the Northeast, pretty well below normal temperatures, 10 to 15 degrees below normal coming up the first, first week in September. And you have above normal precipitation in the Northwest, where again, drying out in the Southeast. And of course we get that, we're still feeling the effects in that first week of September for, of Dorian. But if we extend it out to the eight to 14 day forecast from the Climate Prediction Center, it still has that below normal temperatures filtered into the to the northeast, but it also has one of those clipper systems where I think uh, we're going to have those cold shots come in um, right here with the above normal precipitation and again drying out, uh, staying a little bit below uh, average precipitation in the Texas region along the coast um, with uh, you know, bu buying guard of a tropical system. But this is the next uh, eight to 14 day outlook. So here's the second half of September from the Climate Prediction Center, where it thinks that above normal temperatures are going to play out in the second half of September and a, a pocket of above normal temp 
precipitation in the central part of the United States. But overall, the second half, a little bit warmer than the first half. And if we look at the latest um, Euro model, the ensemble members for September, it kind of shows that cold air bleeding down in the central part of the United States. September is kind of a, a transition month, if, you know, for say, that we're kind of bleeding into the fall on September 21st, where it has a, a bu below normal temperatures in that central part of the United States, but where that where it thinks that second half of the month is going to be a little a much warmer than normal in the northeastern of the United States, and again staying above normal in the northwestern of the United States. And my last graphic is the uh, CFS model. I was kind of to give you an overall summary of this model, and I think this is a tad bit colder than how I think it's going to play out. But this model is actually showing well, pretty much well below normal temperatures in the central part of the United States bleeding into the northeast and has a pocket of below normal temperatures and into Texas. And again, along the southeast coast where it feels that tropical activity, the only part that's above normal is parts of the northwest um, again. So that kind of gives you an idea of how I think uh, September is, is going to play out again. If you drop your city and state of where you live, I'll personalize a seven day forecast. I call it the Ponder Plan or just for you. Um, if you want to check out some of my links below of my, um, some of my other social media sites, as well as some of my reviews, because this is a fairly new channel, but I have been on Facebook the last two years forecasting. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, I'm grateful that you're watching. Catch me at the next video where I protect you before and after the storm.